Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we are making an accordion mini album with a cover. Like always, you can find all the measurements in a link that is in the description under the video so you can go ahead and cut all your pieces in advance and join me in making this great mini album. So we're going to start with our six pieces that are going to be the page of our accordion mini album. And we're going to score them at five and a half and 11. We're going to score all six pieces. And these are going to be the accordion on the inside of the cover. So we're going to score that and then continue scoring all six pieces. Again, you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video. So once we have all the pieces scored, we can go ahead and fold on all the score lines. And as usual, I like to use my bone folder to really tighten the score lines and really burnish them. It's important when you make something that needs to move like an accordion. So all the folds need to be very accurate and very crisp. So we're going to fold all the fold lines on all six pieces. And now we're going to attach them together into one long accordion. So I'm going to apply glue to the inside of the small tab that we have on the edge of each of the pieces and attach it to the next piece on the side that has no little tab on it. And make sure that when you attach the two pieces, you can still fold them. So don't put the paper on the fold line, but up to the fold line. And then I do the exact same thing with the next piece. Apply glue on the little tab and attach to the next piece, making sure that we can go ahead and fold everything very accurately. You can use double-sided tape for this part if you want, but you know me, I like to use liquid glue always because that allows me to wiggle the, the paper into place and make sure that everything is straight so I can move the paper a little bit and align it properly. When I use double-sided tape, I can't do that but it's a matter of personal preference, whatever you feel more, more comfortable with. So I'm continuing attaching all my pieces together to make a very, very long accordion. And I think we come now to the last piece. We attach it and then just leave it to dry for just a few seconds so we can go ahead and fold everything without the papers falling apart. So now you will need to fold the accordion and make sure that you burnish the folds. You will need to reverse them. Some of the folds you need to reverse their direction in order for it to be an accordion. like this and this is why everything needs to be dry otherwise papers will move out of place so this is our accordion see a very long accordion it can fit the entire mini album can fit 25 photos so that's a lot next we're going to make the cover so we have our two pieces here again you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link under the video in the description. We're going to score it at five and a half and six and a half. Basically what we're making is a spine on both sides to fit the width of the mini album. So we're going to do the exact same thing with the other piece. And then we're going to fold on the score lines that we made and attach a third piece to complete 
the cover. If you want to make your accordion longer or bigger to fit more photos, you would need to also make the spine wider because this is the measurements for this size accordion. So I'm going to apply glue on the inside of one of the little tabs and then attach the second piece to it when the side with no tab. And then I'm going to bring my third piece and do the exact same thing, apply glue to the little tab that we have on the edge and attach it to my third piece. And I remind you not to cover the score lines, make sure that you can still fold everything. And this is our cover. So now, this is how it's going to close, like this. Looks great. And I was impatient, didn't wait for it to dry, and that's why it moved. So don't do what I do and wait until it's dry. So next we're going to attach our accordion to the cover. And we're going to do that by applying glue to the little tab on the edge. There is a one tab on the edge. We're going to fold it towards the outside. Just want to make sure that it's folded properly. So apply glue on the outside of the tab and then attach it to the center of the cover, aligning it with the fold line of the center square. Don't cover the fold line. Make sure that it can still fold. And then you have your mini album ready. You can go ahead and cover it with cover papers. Now this is a great mini album from in, for Instagram photos because the pages are square. I used 4x4 four four photos for this specific mini album, but you can use even larger photos if you want. So I just covered everything, but you can also add your photos at this point. So you're going to need a little magnet to close the mini album. Mine have adhesive on one of the on the back side. And what I'm going to do is attach the magnet to the inside of our left cover. And then I'm going to bring another magnet and attach it. So both magnets, one on top of the other. And this will ensure that they are compatible and I can close the mini album properly because I'm going to close the other side of the cover and stick the other magnet to it. So now when it's closed properly, I can go ahead and add my cover papers. And again, you have the measurements for the cover paper in the cutting guide that you can download from the link that is in the description under the video. So I went ahead and cover all the, pa the sides of the pages and the inside covers with cover papers. And on top of these cover papers, you can add your photos in your embellishments. Just make sure that you don't add a lot of layers because we don't want the mini album to be too bulky and too thick because then we won't be able to close the cover properly. So I played with different patterns and different colors of papers. And here how is all the how it turned out, all the pages. Now I can go ahead and cover the inside of the cover. And we can go ahead and 
attach that on the magnets. They're strong enough to still close even though they have paper on them. So don't worry about that. You need to get craft magnets that are strong but very thin. And I'm going to cover the outside of the left cover and then the right cover. And then of course on the outside cover you can go ahead and embellish it with whatever you want and you can add flowers and bulky embellishments because it's the front cover. It won't interfere with closing the mini album or anything like that. I also cut some little strips for the sides. If you want you can cut more strips to cover the inside spines as well. That's up to you. If you don't like to see a lot of black, then cover the inside as well. And you can play with the patterns and the colors of the papers. Just want to add something to the front cover to make sure it looks pretty. So I cut another square. This part is completely up to you and your design preferences. You like it more busy, you like it more minimalistic, whatever you like to do with your mini album. And I decided to cover the inside as well. Too, a lot of, too much black for me. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll always be able to catch my new videos loading up. So this is our mini album project for today. I really hope you liked it. It has a lot of room for a lot of photos on both sides of the pages. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.